So tonight is the big unveiling, the big reveal time, the big one, the one everybody's been waiting for, for the USACC group build that Mark Baxton picked out the kit this year for the 70 Plymouth. Very cool. Thank you, Mark, for that. Uh, very fun kit, enjoyable build. I really liked it. It went together pretty well. And I tell you what, there's so many people out there. There's just many, 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 many people that was in this build. And just unbelievable. Uh, I, I can't wait to watch some of the videos on this thing. Because this thing went from mild to wild. From stock to, wow, this should be in the junkyard. Whoa, it's all rusted out and rotted. I mean, just super cool. I like everybody's take on it. Just it's so cool to see everybody build all these different kits. Um, just their variation of it. So really neat, really neat. So... I was pretty pleased with mine, um, and you know, the thing is, I have, I've had it done for a long time, which I was shocked. I, I had it done on time, and it was good, so, but you know, unlike the video, I'm making this last minute, because that's how things are in my world. Everything's last minute, just, you know what, I was, I'm procrastinating. I was going to have it made earlier, and I thought, I'll get this made, get it all done, but no, I'm making it the night before, because that's how we do things. But hey, at least I had the car built. That was a plus. So... And then early on, you know, a lot of you guys had problems finding this kit. Um, I mean, a lot of us almost didn't get in this deal because I couldn't find I couldn't find one myself. So thankfully, Mark from Hobby to Model hooked me up with a kit. And then Ravel come out and saved the day. So everybody else was able to get on this bandwagon and join in. So that worked out pretty good for everybody. So without further ado, I'll take over the bench and I'll show you my version of the 70 Roadrunner from Monogram slash Ravel, slash whatever. So let's go to the bench, take a look. All right, guys, so this is my take on the 70 Plymouth Roadrunners for the USACC build off. I think that turned out pretty sweet. Pretty happy with this one. So we have these 70 Roadrunner Plymouth decals out of the Superbird kit in the back. Did a bare metal foil on there, added an antenna. So on the wheels, these are wheels out of a NASCAR kit from Monogram. Took the rims, painted them satin black with some Tamiya, and painted red on the inside. And I dipped the blue as just a dip of paint from the top exterior color. Had some homemade exhaust out of aluminum piping. Cut the tips back, very nice, very nice. And we got the fatty tires out of the MPC kits. Love those tires. I like the font on that, the Goodyear writing, I think just looks sweet. Other than that, we got our front end, nothing too magical. I do have the yellow headlights because I just like the looks of those. I like the looks of them. And we did some custom painting on the hood here. That is a custom painted stripe. I did not like the one that come in the kit. Actually, I tried to use the one that come in the kit, and it didn't like it. It wrinkled, peeled, and did whatever it wanted to do. So I added an extra stripe beside it, kind of followed the body line to get that curve. All in all, it looked pretty cool. Took the decal across the back. Uh, that was supposed to go to the back uh, across the trunk, and I just added that long here. Thought that looked pretty nice. Just a little extra touch, because the back is black, so you're not going to see that. Other than that, the real magic of the car is a tilt clip. So I'll just give it a little pull here. And it stays up pretty nice on its own. Yes, sir. It turned out pretty nice. So that is all glued together as one solid piece. So it turned out pretty cool. Got some homemade shocks in the front. Uh, did the oil catch can. Got an MSD ignition box there. Uh, these uh, headers are made out of solder. So the engine is all wired up. See wires along the firewall. This was actually kind of easy to do because there's no front clip to work around. And did all that before I put the bracing on there. And the brace that goes around the engine that the shock is attached to, that is also out of a NASCAR kit. Um, same kit that provided the wheels, of course. And the radiator is a NASCAR radiator. So it worked out nice. So it's got the oil cooler in there. So it turned out pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is we'll flip the car around here. 
and I'll show you the other side of it. Let me spin this around for you. Turn, turn, turn. Yeah, so we got the other side here. So we used the crappy mirror that came in the kit. I was going to get a resin one to put on there, an aftermarket. I did not get to it. So I just got the crappy one to come with it. But that's okay. It still functions. And I put an oil filter, remote oil filter up on the top here. And run those oil lines. Those are actual steel wire. So that took me a little bit to bend those and fit and bend and fit and bend some more. I finally got them. Next thing you can see that NASCAR radiator. And I do have an upper and lower radiator hose in there. So that hose is an actual spring out of a axle seal. If you look on the inside of an axle seal, there's little springs in there. Every seal has one. Doesn't have to be so much an axle seal. It could be a front crank seal, anything. Rear main seal, they all have those little springs. Took that out, took some metal wire, the music wire, like I use it for my antenna, and cut some of it and slid it inside. And then it allowed me to bend the wire or I'm sorry, it allowed me to bend the spring around. So that worked pretty cool, pretty cool. And the tires in the front are the same fatty tires that you get out of the MBC kits in the back. And they were just too wide for the front. And like I said before, I really like the lettering on those. So I took those tires, I cut them in half and re-glued them together. Sanded them down so it gives me a little narrow fit up front. Didn't do too much for the interior on it, just kind of your basic... You know, all that good stuff. And looking at the back, nothing magical back there at all. Just enough to say, I have a bumper. But yeah, other than that, it turned out pretty cool. So what we're going to do is, uh, let's close the the front end down here. And that closes pretty nice. And that sits pretty good without having any supports or anything on it. Other than that. Not too bad, not too bad. This is my first time doing it. All right, let's take a look underneath. Yeah, so underneath we have, like I say, the solder headers. And I went around the tie rod ends, kind of like a thunderbolt uh, does around there. I thought that's always a cool look. And that is custom exhaust all the way back, obviously, with aluminum tubing. Put a crossover pipe in the center. And those are my homemade shocks. And like I say, those fatty tires on the back. And the drive shaft is aluminum tubing. So I took the original drive shaft, cut the, uh, basically the pinion yokes or the ends off it. And I slid them into the aluminum drive shaft. Not painted, just left aluminum. And it's tagged inside the transmission. There you go, you can see it hiding up in there. So that turned out pretty cool. So I didn't do no brake hoses, nothing like that, nothing magical. I uh, had enough going on with the front clip, so I didn't want to turn it into more than I had to because it was already getting there and all that good stuff. So other than that, um, I'm pretty happy with this. I think it turned out pretty cool. So yes, sir. So okay, guys, that is my build on this car. So I thought I'd do something different, you know, I thought, you know what, let's make it a tilt clip. Because I, I like tilt clips, I think that's just cool as cool, cool as cool. So, so yeah, so that is my build for the USA CC group build. So I appreciate you guys following along and checking out the channel. And if you guys check out the other videos in my channel here on some of the build process on this car, uh, there's a few of them on there. So I encourage you to go watch those and see how some of this will put together. So other than that, I appreciate you guys watching and tuning in. And we will see you on the next build project. You guys have a good one. Thanks for watching.